Hey guys, I'm back with another quick and easy recipe today. Now what I had started with is I had six eggs and then to that I added some vanilla cinnamon creamer and then I added some milk. I'm just kind of eyeballing it today. If I just kind of feel I need to add some more liquid, I'll add some more liquid. Now to this, I'm just going to add some cinnamon, some ground cinnamon. And then I'm also going to use some vanilla. Now at home, if you have any other flavor, creamer, that hazelnut, that French vanilla, that sweet cream, you can just use whatever you have at home. I like the cinnamon vanilla, so that's what I'm going to use today. Now I am going to go ahead and just add a little bit more milk to this. Now today I'm using a 2% milk and I'm using that because I'm using the creamer. Now, had I just been using milk, I probably would have went with a whole milk, but because the creamer has enough fat in it, I just went with 2%. So I'm going to go ahead and get this whipped up and try to not make too much of a mess. Now, while you're getting things mixed up, you can have your oven heating to 350. So that way, when everything is mixed up, you can go ahead and be ready to rock and roll. So I'm just going to try to get all of this incorporated. And, and using a mixer is a lot quicker than trying to mix this by hand with a whisk. You will probably be all day. So I'm just trying to do a quick version of it. Now, I'm going to be adding this to this. This is some raisin pandeleche rolls. I ended up finding this at the Asian market. I'm like, that is something new, something different. So we're gonna go ahead and get this poured. I would just pour it straight over, but I just think that it would be making too much of a mess. So I'm just gonna try to do it this way. Now, I didn't add any sugar to this mix and that's because the creamer is really really sweet now if you feel like you want to just add you a little bit of sugar to it that is absolutely fine but my taste buds i don't care for too much sweet stuff so i opted to not put any additional sugar in this mix so i'm just gonna try to get all of this added like i said i was trying to make the least of the mess so just pour it into the cup that way you can just pour it a little bit easier and just try to make sure that you get you know all your corners and just get everything incorporated well now once i get this in the oven i will be baking it at 350 for about 40 to 45 minutes i'm gonna cover this with some foil for about 20, 25 minutes or so, and then uh, uncover it and let it bake the rest of the way. Now to this, I am going to add, I have some brown sugar, white sugar, and some cinnamon. I'm just gonna um, mix this up so I can get it sprinkled on the top. That's another reason to kind of opt out on the sugar, any sugar that you would have put in the mix because you know i'm sprinkling the sugar on the top so it definitely will be sweet enough just get this incorporated so we can get this going and get this in the oven so we can have some of this yumminess because i already know this is going to be delicious because this is already looking good right here so if you go to the store, you know how they have the regular panda leche rolls, just grab those. You know, I just was able to find some raisin ones. So I was like, oh, that'll really be good for breakfast. If you have some brioche bread, get that. If you just have Texas toast, shoot, if you just have regular bread, just use that, use what you have. And I like this option of French toast. You know, that Saturday morning when your kids want French toast and you sitting in the kitchen all morning trying to flip and flop French toast. No, honey, you just do this, put this in the oven, and you can sit and relax and have your cup of coffee. So I'm about done with this. Like I said, I'm going to get this covered. 
and I must press this down a little bit so it'll just go, you know, um, smush into all the juice. So I'm going to put this in the oven on 350, like I said, between 40, 45 minutes and I'm going to get this covered. And so I will see you in a minute. Hey guys, I just took this out the oven and look at this. This looks absolutely delicious. I had covered this and baked it on 350 for about 20, 25 minutes. Then I took the foil off and then baked it for about another 20, 25 minutes. This is the Raisin Panda Leche French Toast break, Bake. And um, like I said, you can just use whatever kind of bread that you have. If you have something other than this, just use what you have at home. Now, what I ended up doing is I melted some butter, powdered sugar, some milk, and then I had still had some of the cinnamon sugar mixture that I sprinkled on the top. I had some of that left. So I had mixed that up and melted it in the microwave so I can go ahead and have something to pour over this. Now, if you have your favorite syrup that you like to use, use your favorite syrup. You know, you can heat that up with a little bit of butter and just get this poured over. Now, if you don't want to, you know, pour syrup or this um, mixture over the whole top, you can kind of just have it melted into the side. So when people come and make their plate, they can just kind of, you know, have it already ready to go. And then, you know, they can just use as much as they want. But I'm just going to go ahead and get this poured over everything. Now, all the food here, we do donate. But I am going to cut this so you can just see how this baked up. Because this just looks absolutely delicious. I am just in awe with how beautiful this came out. This just, oh, just, just looks good. And this is just your one pan French toast bake. That look at the steam just still coming off. That just looks so delicious. Now, this is perfect for the Saturday morning. You know, when your kids want French toast, but you don't want to keep just standing up in the kitchen all morning, just throw all of this in a pan and just let it bake and then just let them come and serve themselves. This just looks absolutely delicious delicious they're gonna love this this is just really gonna be a treat for them today so until next time bye